Amen. Amen. Are you all ready for the word? All right. Turn with me in your Bibles to Acts, the second chapter. Acts, the second chapter. Acts, number two. Acts, number two. Acts, second chapter. Number two. Acts, the second chapter. Beginning at verse number 42. Amen. Amen. Now, we are in our, our 30-day church campaign. All right. Acts. Two, verse 42, we'll begin there. I'm going to, going to deal with this morning, I'm going to deal with the causes or the cause of spiritual stunted growth. Everybody say stunted growth. And how to avoid stunted growth. Amen. Acts 2, 42. It says, and they continued steadfastly. In the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayers and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles and all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need and they, they continued Daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from the house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. 47, praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily such as would be saved. Amen. We thank God that is our foundational scripture, our text, as we continue on in our 30-day church campaign. And um, for the last few weeks, co-pastor and myself and I, we have been preaching about the five purposes of the church. The five purposes of the church are to, number one, cultivate authentic community. Y'all remember this? experience worship as a part of your daily lifestyle and co-pastor did a masterful job last week on that and then number three take successive steps to spiritual growth and number four practice personal stewardship and number five reach out to the world around us reach out to the world around us and so so we we just looked at Acts, the second chapter, and we looked at verse number 42, and the eighth clause says, and they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. In other words, they adhered to the teachings and to the practice, and they lived what was taught of them by the apostles. Why? Because they wanted to grow, and spiritual growth was extremely necessary or extremely important to them. So today, we're looking at the third purpose of our lesson, which is to take successive steps of spiritual growth. And I want to ask a question. Is spiritual growth important to you today? So my assignment today is to push you into spiritual maturity. Trees grow until the day they die. And humans are designed in the same manner. However, some of us die while we are still walking and talking. I'm going somewhere with this. We die on the inside because, uh-huh, or we died on the inside, and before it starts showing up or the sign starts showing on the outside, it's the inside work that's happened to us before it starts to manifest on the outside. But sooner or later, we're going to see that you're dying or that you have died on the inside. How can you tell if someone is dying on the inside? Three signs, three signs. Number one, they stop learning. They stop 
learning. They stop learning. Number two, they stop maturing. They stop maturing. They stop maturing. And number three, they stop caring. They stop caring. You can tell when a person has stopped learning, it's because they never share anything new that they have read, heard, or went to a seminar or gleaned even from a sermon. And so it is in the natural, it is in the spiritual. When you stop having a thirst and stop having a desire to learn about God, you begin your spiritual demise. When Bible study and learning the word of God is not as important to you than running around the church, singing on the praise team, Preaching in the pulpit, deacon on the deacon, ushering at the door. When that is more important than knowing what God says for you, then your demise has begun. You can tell when a person has stopped maturing because their character hasn't changed. They aren't becoming an improved person. They still think and act the same old way. Somebody say the same old way. They aren't any better than they were a few years ago. And so it is in the natural, it is in the spiritual. I'm not talking about y'all, I'm talking about the church in general. 